Come on. Problems? This goddamn thing keeps jamming up. If you're ready to see the other briefings, we can get started. Show me what else you managed to dig up. You got it. Two of the city's finest scumbags. The man himself, Mr. Vito Scaletta. You gotta be shitting me. Last couple months have been pretty tough on old Vito. Sal's always hated him. Thought he was a mole for the commission, but he couldn't do anything about it because Vito's made. After the heist, Sal refused to pay Vito his cut. And then he put the clamps on him. He's been trying to limit Vito's ability to pay what's owed. And if Scaletta can't kick up, the commission will give Marcano permission to whack him. The only reason that Vito is still above ground is because he has a couple off-the-record businesses. He's been using that money to pay Sal. Gotta give Scaletta credit. Pretty goddamn tenacious. He's lasted a lot longer than I thought he would, but the clock is ticking. A couple weeks ago, Sal sent in his nephew, a kid named Michael Greco, to help Vito run River Row. Greco's been using his guys to limit what Vito can do, where he can go. Once he has Vito completely boxed in, he'll make his move. Scaletta has to know what Greco has planned. I'll pay him a visit. See if I can leverage this thing with Greco to bring Scaletta around in my way of thinking. I'm sure I'll appreciate your concern. Better reach out to Vito before Sal finds an excuse to dump him in the swamp. Haven't the people down here heard about a little invention called air conditioning? Christ! About how it's going in there? How you think? Vito's taking his beating. Wish Greco would just let us kill a poor son of a bitch. Get it over with. Nah, Greco wants to show how tough he is. Beat on old Vito till we all there respect him.
That shit's all him. Let's go. Oh, uh, thinks he can hide me. Uh. Fire it! Fire it! Let's try I'm hit! Fuck! Fuck. Reload! Yeah. God damn it, I can't move! What the shit? Waste of time. You want to stick over there? I will find you, boy. Molotov going out!
circling around here. There he is. Him aside, motherfucker. See if he went back there. Yeah, I'll check again. Look, this boy's gone. I see we tried that area. <laughs> Let's go. This is the you got the right to die, cocksucker. Looks like I got here just in time, Vito. Lincoln. How's this possible? I thought you were dead. The bullet was deflected by my skull. Came out the back. Talk about some goddamn luck. Worst place to shoot a fella's in the forehead. This goes harder than you think. <clears throat> Come on. We need to have a talk. When I heard about what happened, I went to Marcano asking my cut right then and there. I figured if he fucked you and Sammy, I'd be next. Yeah, I'm guessing he didn't go for it. <sighs> Said he wanted to wait for the heat to die down. Didn't want me running around. Buying expensive shit, getting noticed. Like I'm some fucking amateur, never sat on a big score before. That money I fronted for the robbery was pretty much everything I put away. Didn't have enough to run, so... I stayed. The commission wouldn't let him just kill me, so... I figured I'd make that cocksucker jump through every hoop. Make him prove I deserve to get whacked. It wasn't much, but it was something. Heard he brought in his nephew to push you out. A kid named Michael Greco. Nephew by marriage, not blood. Sure. 
Sure didn't number in here. Yeah. They were looking to see what other rackets I was running. Like I'd leave a fucking paper trail in my office. Eh, nah, don't bother with that shit. Look, uh... Appreciate you getting me out of the freezer and all, but, uh... What are you doing here? Marcano deserves to pay for what he did, so I'm going after him. Him, his brothers, his lieutenants, all of them. And I'm gonna need your help. Look, pretty much whittle me down to nothing. I mean, this is it. For now, maybe. But once I take back River Road from Greco, money will start coming in, it'll be a different story. Also, we're partners now. As long as you do what I say and give me what I want when I want. <laughs> so goodbye, Marcano, hello, Lincoln Clay. It's either that or more of this. And next time, I won't be around to fish your ass out the freezer. Nobody kills that scumbag with me. You bring me Greco. I'm in. Tell me about his rackets. He took over the dock union, and he's got a warehouse. He has a lot of valuable shit in there. You take both of them out. Greco's finished. A couple of my guys been keeping tabs on him. You should talk to them. They'll fill you in. All right. Careful, Dick. Vito said you'd be expecting me. Took you long enough. I'm Jock Blanchard. Vito claims you can unfug this mess and get us working men back on a job. Maybe. Depends if your information's any good. Used to kick up to Vito's men, Andy Toretto, for union work. But now that Coyon Greco got Andy squeezing everybody for more dues. You don't pay? You don't get a work permit. Poor fucks even gotta use Greco's loudmouth buddies to collect. This Greco sounds like a real piece of shit. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. On top of that, Andy's gotta keep the permits on the lock and key. Anything happens to those, oof. Ain't no work happening around here. I'll see what I can get out of Toretto's people. 
Runs a tight ship, but you should be able to get some of his guys talking. Vito sent me. You Connie, right? Yup. Connie DeMarco. Been keeping an eye on the smuggling business for Vito. Roy Thibodeau's in charge now, and it's a damn shit show. Why hasn't Greco bounced him yet? Oh, he bounced Roy right into a hole if he got to say so. Greco didn't pick Roy, and that puts a target on his back. Still, Roy's trying to sell the usual shit from out of Cuba. Cigars and rum, mostly. Hell, rumor has it they even selling medicine and shit to the Cubans. Sounds like Greco's scrambling. <laughs> Imagine Greco thought his Uncle Sal would give him a break, but no. So he's squeezing everyone, including Roy. If business gets any worse, Roy's gonna have to come down and see to it himself. Mind, Roy's got a few guys here and there. Might take some persuading, but I'll get him to talk. Hold of any Roy's guys yet? They're sure to talk if you, uh, ask just right. <laughs> 